Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share some useful Byleth tips for new players and people who have played Byleth for a while and maybe want some new info. I will also have timestamps in this video so you can navigate to whatever part of the video you want to get to. This is my first time making any kind of guide, so if you would like to see more content like this in the future, be sure to leave a like and sub if you're new. And with all that said, let's get into the 5 tips that will improve your Byleth. My first tip for all Byleth players is to use a more up special. It's not the fastest option out of shield, but if you can land it, you get a ton of mix-ups and setups that will either get you a lot of damage, and in some cases, even take the stock. However, we need to know how Byleth's up special works. At 0-46%, to opponents will be launched above Byleth. However, if the opponent has taken any amount of damage after 46%, they will be launched into an uncheckable spike. When using up special to combo, keep in mind that you will always want to buffer your double jump just as you do the input. The reason why you do this is so you can lower your jump height and cover DI away and also have access to more combo options. At mid high and later percents, Byleth has a few 50 50 setups that can net you a ton of damage and sometimes even take socks. In order for them to work, you have to guess their DI and drift in their general direction. These setups are very important to use because outside of down tilt into up air or near into dash attack, Ryleth doesn't have any other kill options to reliably take stocks outside of tech chases and getting KOs out of neutral exchanges. My second tip is to use failnot mixups as often as possible. While it is a good projectile for dealing damage and taking stocks, canceling failnot can also help you find openings. You can find these openings by visually conditioning your opponent to shield, jump, or counter, and then punishing those options with a grab or a combo. Charging in front of them is risky, but you can also bait them into doing a defensive option or punish an aggressive option. You can cancel failnot in many different ways. Jumping and shielding are the two main ways of doing it. But if you want to be creative, you can also cancel in midair by pressing jump immediately to cancel the charge as you land, giving you even more ways to mix up your pressure. My third tip is to use more ledge options when coming back to the siege. You're probably aware that you can drop from ledge and quickly up to perform a wall jump, but there are a lot of ways you can mix up your opponent when coming back to the stage. Keep in mind that you can only tether to the ledge three times before you can't grab anymore. However, you can still grab the ledge two more times normally by using up B on the wall and doing a wall jump. That means you can grab the ledge up to five times if you manage your resources well. The only caveat being you won't have invincibility. You can also grab opponents that are too close to the ledge and spike them. If they don't DI or DI in, you can also get a follow up. Since we're already on the topic of ledge setups, let's touch up on the ledge trapping phase. Ryleth has a plethora of options when it comes to ledge trapping. You can get away with just using Nair out of shield to catch jumps, rolls from the ledge, reach your get up, and get up attack. But if you're looking for something more and have a read on your opponent, you can just stand at roll distance and hold forward smash. If you react to time, you can catch jumps and kill at absurd percents. If you have a feeling that they won't jump anymore, you can just keep holding forward smash until they neutral get up or roll into it. And if they don't do anything, you can just angle it downwards and kill them anyway. If you aren't holding forward smash and they go for the ledge stall, you can just ledge jump them with side B or spike them with up B. Since Byleth is a pretty slow character, ledge jumping should be easier than with most of the characters. Just be aware that your opponent can still drift and you will have to guess whether or not they drift in or out. But if they weren't expecting it, it shouldn't be a problem since if you're fast enough, they might not even be ready to react to it. Violet's downer can also tube frame and pretty much catch every character on the ledge. In most cases, you don't even have to leave the ledge. You can just full hop and fall with down air. Violet's down air hitbox is so big, it might be easier to just go directly below the ledge and spike them before the two frame is even possible. The only real thing you'll have to worry about is the actual timing, but if you can hit Violet's down air, you can pretty much hit any down air, so. My fourth tip is to work on your movement. Violet is a pretty slow character, you probably already know that. So slow so that they can be frustrating to play sometimes. That's why being comfortable with moving is really important. Wave landing on platforms and also dash dancing are really good ways to keep your opponent guessing. Combining them with B reverse and wave bounce fail not cancels from the air will not only spice things up, but it will also keep your opponent guessing and condition them into any of the options I stated earlier in the video. Since Byleth is a pretty slow character, they don't really benefit much from boosted forward tilts. Where running back and doing pivot down tilt can potentially stuff out aggressive options. It's especially good since down tilt is a combo starter and is also used for kill confirms. You can also do boosted turnaround up tilt to start combos, but it's something I don't really use often, but I've seen it used by other Byleth players. Though it may be riskier since it has a fair amount of startup and end lag. My fifth and final tip is to master neutral air. It's basically Byleth's best move. 
It leads to combos, tech chases, and kill confirms. It also has a grounded hitbox that can shield poke opponents and launch them into tech situations. One of the more important things to pay attention to is that you always want to fast fall the nair after mid percents, since that's where all the combo potential comes from. If you do land a nair at a higher percents and they miss your tech, you can go for forward smash, you can go for down smash, you can get a jab lock into up smash, and if you're near the ledge on very specific stages, you can also get a nair into side B. One important thing to remember about Nair out of shield is that it comes out frame 6, but if they're behind you, it comes out frame 9. So unless you parry, it might not be a safe option to Nair out of shield if they're behind you. Those are pretty much the 5 tips I wanted to point out for Byleth, but there are some extra things I want to talk about, like analyzing other players. Two really good Byleth players to watch would be MKLeo and Pelu Pelu. They're pretty much the only Byleths putting in work right now, especially recently since they're both been placing pretty high. I know there aren't many Byleth players getting first place on online tournaments like Leo, but watching players like Pelo Pelo is also a good option as well. You can also watch me, like, you know, I have my own Elite Smash series and I have like a, I have like two different playlists full of Byleth stuff, so if you ever want to watch my gameplay, I mean, it works. I'm not, I'm not bad. If you need any other resources, you can check out my friend Baselord, he has a lot of Byleth content. You can also join the Byleth Discord, I'll leave a link to it in the description. I'm not really there a lot of the time, but there's a lot of people who can help you there as well. Links to everything will all be in the description below. And with all that said, that's gonna do it for this video. You guys can pretty much leave right now if you want. I'm just gonna ramble and talk about some new things coming up. Like I said earlier, this really is my first time making any kind of guide, so yeah, I tried my best. I'm not really used to using a script and all that, so uh, hopefully the next time I do this it'll be a lot better. This video should be coming out a little bit before the Pyro and Myth representation. Hopefully they get released by then, like same day like Sephiroth, because that's kind of what I'm expecting. If that is the case, um, you best believe I'm making guides on them. They're pretty much going to be my new main. But don't worry, Byleth isn't going anywhere. That's why I made this video in the first place, because I want to show everyone what Byleth can do. I know there's not really a lot of Byleth players out there, so hopefully the people who do play Byleth can learn something from this. Let me know if you did. If you didn't, then uh, you know, let me know if there's something that I don't know. If you want to see more Byleth content, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, you can feel free to hit me up on Discord or DM me on Twitter. Both of which will be in the description below. Also, you should definitely be following me on Twitter. I don't know what's taking you all so long. Just do it, please. Thanks. Also, shout out to all the YouTube members. You guys are the GOATs. And just people who've been subbed in general. I really do appreciate the support you guys have shown me the past few months. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll get going now. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And have a good one.